Steve McQueen um, uh, was was very very young when he did mat matinee theater, and um, I have a I have a little tale to tell you about this. Uh, Steve was in an episode, and the director was Boris Segal. And uh, one day, I happened to be walking out of the building or something. I ran into Boris, and Boris said, listen, I'm having lunch with one of the actors, Steve McQueen. You want to join us? So we went across the street to have lunch. And uh, very, Steve was you know, a very affable guy. Nobody knew really who he was. And he was talking very seriously to Boris somewhat to me, uh, about the fact that he'd had a job offer in New York, to go back to New York to be a uh, teaching assistant in the theater arts department somewhere I've forgotten where. And that that meant that he would have to go back to New York and he have to forget about, at least for the time being, uh, studio auditions and so on. And kind of forget about it and think about the theater instead and so on. And so we talked about it, and he wanted to know our opinion. And I just, I just met him. So Boris kind of talked around it. And I said, take the job, you know? I mean, you're going to be in a good environment. It's, it's going to propel you. Uh, you're going to be in it's a distinguished environment. The theater is there. You know, I think you should do it. You know, a year, <laughs> a year or two later, Steve McQueen was starring in, as a bounty hunter in Wanted Dead or Alive, a half hour show, and became a huge television star, and then a great motion picture star. But I, I always remember, that's why I'm not the head of a studio. That's exactly the reason. 